Okay, this is the uh, Klarstein Brauheld Smart 35. I thought I'd take a look at the underneath of the unit to see. Well, let's see if I can get into it. Ah, what the hell are they? Oh yeah. Okay. They just didn't look like Phillips screws from the top, but they are. <coughs> right. Let's have a look in the control unit. I'm doing this because the, the software seems extremely limited, and I'm just wondering whether I can replace the unit or um, somehow access the default recipes and replace them or edit them or I don't know. All depends, but I suspect. I mean, the older units used to use microcontrollers. So, what does this use? Okay. Um, let's just make sure you can see that. Oh. Uh, so it looks like, I don't know, is that a Wi Fi card? It's got ROHS on it, so that's usually. Right, I'm going to take a few pickies of this. circuit board off and see what's on that. One screw, Oops. make sure you can see. Two. So that's the screen. Just a bunch of buttons. Um, hmm. AJP K Vong. Let's take a picture of that. Come on, focus camera. So that just seems to be a screen. Some very old school looking resistors. Um, uh, okay, and a couple of a couple of ICs. Could this be the microcontroller? One of them doesn't appear to have any writing on it at all. No. A dodgy looking surface mount resistor, and that's about it. Hmm, yep. Oh well, nothing really to hack there. I was hoping, um, hmm. I was hoping that it might be, you know, something like a Arduino and a SD card and things like that, but I guess this is to keep costs down, so. Um. The cheapest way is just to use a microcontroller and flash it with code. Hmm, okay. I'll have to wait until they uh, hopefully upgrade the app so that you can actually store your own recipes and, and things like that, because at the moment, the Class 9 app, it's sort of got some default brewing recipes, um, but you don't appear to be able to add your own or choose any others from the cloud or anything like that. Don't get any of those options at all, so it seems extremely limited. And then when I did it, um, uh, you know, I had the system on and I picked a recipe from the app and there's a start button so you can start the program and I pressed start and all it did was beep and uh, it didn't seem to be doing anything. I think I think the actual, uh, the system started heating up but it didn't actually say step one or anything like that. So I didn't really know what was going on, I didn't know whether it's running the program or not, it sort of just, I think it showed mash and something else but, yeah, it's a bit rubbish. <coughs> I've jury rigged this bit of rope onto the uh, the controller cable because I found it actually just always got in the way of the tap when I was wanting to use the tap. So uh, as a very quick and dirty thing, I've just 
tied that to the handle to keep the cable away from the tap but there has to be a better way right so that's the controller nothing really exciting there it's kind of really locked down so right better take the lid off otherwise I'll end up breaking everything let's pop the lid up here okay let's tilt it up right let's have a look underneath so there seems to be four screws here um, let's take the legs off first and see what happens sort of kind of sealed to the base. That's a nice pump. Um, yeah, right, okay, so, well the unit's earthed. Well oh, that is then, oh, that must be the power supply. Is it? Yeah. Nice Jubilee clips to the pump, so that's okay. So there's two, I guess there's an in and out of the pump. The in is obviously goes up to that, that point where uh, that goes to the bazooka filter and then the out just goes to goes to that and then to the external so yeah still quite a, quite a small pump but there you go um what else so there's like a sensor i guess um oh yeah those th those thin black wires are the temperature sensor i think because i've seen that but again nothing very exciting to uh, to meddle with really it's a very simple system um, yeah That just must protect the, uh, the power supply, I guess. Okay, let's have another go at this. So, this is the Klaustein app. I'm, last time I tried to pick a recipe, like a beer, no, let's go um, pick a beer, oh, pick a classic alt beer then you've got the, the ingredients there you've got the instructions and then last time when I clicked start something beeped and then uh, nothing happened so um, I've decided to switch my phone to a dedicated 4 uh, 2.4 gigahertz uh, Wi-Fi um, network and then try it again so let's click so I'm going to click start. Ah, step one, mashing. Okay, so it says step one. It's got no target, no anything. Um, but it's, yeah, so what the hell is it doing? So I better stop it because uh, it's got no, it's got no water in it. That 
doesn't work. Uh, if I hold stop down, will that work? Yeah, okay. So yeah, it's weird. Um, and of course on this, nothing shows you that you're actually running a, a recipe. So look, if I go to, right, let's do that again. So there's a the thing, there's instructions. When I click start, Hmm, nothing happens at all this time round. Okay. Alright, let's let's turn it off and on again. Because I think I accidentally put the uh the unit in Bluetooth sync mode when I held down reset, whereas I should have just held down stop. So um don't know whether you can see that, but it's kind of in its default state. It hasn't got mash or anything. Right, let's try this again. So click start. Okay. So yeah, again, it's got power. It says it's mashing, um, but the app here is just nothing at all. Um, doesn't say that it's running a recipe or anything at all. So pretty useless so far. So, um, yeah, oh, okay, it's, it's done a, it's turned itself off, probably because it could sense that it's got no liquid in, okay, let's, uh, give it a while, I suppose at least the, uh, auto power off works, <laughs> 